All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm James with JC Trails, and welcome to sunny South Florida. All right, welcome back, guys. I thought I'd take a minute and make a quick video on selling my bike on the Pro's Closet. If you're not familiar with the Pro's Closet is, it's kind of like the CarMax of mountain bike sales. So, you know, CarMax, you can bring your car to their dealership, they'll appraise it and give you a cash offer on the spot. The Pro's Closet's kind of like that, but they do it via the internet. It's a pretty good service they have. So if you've been around my channel, you know I've just came out with a review of the 2022 Trek Top Fuel. I'll leave a card right there if you haven't seen it. And I absolutely love that bike. It was the Trek Top Fuel 8 version, which is aluminum. I have nothing against aluminum. It's just a little bit heavier and the build that that bike came in was a little bit heavier. Um, I ordered right after I demoed that or bought that bike, um, the carbon version, which is coming in a couple weeks. So I decided to sell this Trek Top Fuel 8. I usually sell my bikes on Pink Bike, Facebook Marketplace, on my social media. Um, so stay tuned for that for any future bike sales. Do get bikes at a discount? And I usually pass that savings on to whoever purchases my bike. So if I buy, let's say, a bike for $3,000, it's worth $5,000, let's say, I'll just turn around and sell it on Pink Bike for $3,000. So I don't make any money, but I don't lose any money. And whoever bought my or purchased my bike usually gets a pristine bike, um, essentially new for a pretty good discount. When I listed the Trek Top Fuel, though, um, I know it's during wintertime and, and the holidays. Usually I've sold pretty good bikes around this time, but no one was you know, looking at the Trek Top Fuel for a while. And then all of a sudden, the, the messages start coming in on Pink Bike and Facebook Marketplace, but the offers are just so low. So basically, I'll be up front. I listed the bike for um, $3,200 initially, and people were just offering me $1,800, $1,800, $1,900, $1,700, $1,500, $1, and it just kept on getting worse and worse and worse. And the bike does retail for just about $3,900 with taxes, probably you know looking at $4,150 $4, or $4,200 out the door. So I figured $3,200 is a fair price, you know, no tax, you just $3,200, and you're essentially getting a new bike. All of the bikes I usually sell are pretty much brand new, not no scratches on it, no dents, no nothing. The tires still have the little knobbies on it. And uh, I'm just trying to help, you know, my fellow mountain bikers out. I typed in my browser, theproscloset.com, and you, you, what comes up is you'll see that they sell a bunch of, you know, cycling gear in general. Um, they cycle cross bikes, gravel bikes, mountain bikes, road bikes, triathlon bikes, e-bikes, and they're, most of them are used. They actually have some new ones on here I've seen, um, but they look a little pricey for what I'd buy a used bike for, but it is a lot of them guaranteed, essentially like a new bike. Um, and then you'll see a tab on here that you can sell your bike for cash. So you just click that button. After you create an account with the Pro's Closet, it's just like an email address and setting up a password basically. And then another page will come up and it'll be like, what do you want to do? You want to sell a bike, um, sell a frame, or sell a wheel set? Um, in my case, I want to sell a whole entire bike. You just hit continue. Um, you'll, you'll tab will pop up and it'll say, you know, what bikes they don't accept. And you can go through this list right here I have on the screen, you know, BMX bikes, tandem bikes, yada, yada, yada. Um, so you close that out. And then what you'll do is you put what kind of type of bike you have and um, the condition of it. So mine is a Trek uh, Top Fuel, so 2022 Top Fuel 8. And just type in your area code, you know, where you, I think it's just for shipping purposes. And then there's another box here with any upgrades you've done, hopefully they'll bring the value up on your bike or the offer they'll give you, the wear and the damage, and just be honest because the offer they're gonna give you, if you say it's in pristine condition, um, they're gonna give you a, a, a you know, higher offer obviously, but when they get the bike, they might ship it back to you because you weren't being honest or they'll give you a lower offer. So just be upfront and they'll ask you, does your bike match the description, you know, like new. And then they just wanna see the bike. Um, so they only ask for two pictures. They ask for a drive side and a non-drive side. Just make sure the pictures are really accurate of what you're selling. So put it on like how I have it here, like a white background, something that'll make the bike pop and show any imperfections or how new the bike actually looks. So you get you can maximize your dollar from the pro's closet. And then you just hereby certify that all the information is correct. Hit submit. And actually in about five hours, they sent me an email back of what they would pay for my Trek Top Fuel. And they have three different offers. They have a store credit, which is higher, obviously. Um, they said it would be 3105, and that's what I expect to get if I sold it privately. Um, and what a store credit is, basically, they'll give you store credit at theproscloset.com. So if you see a bike that you like and you want to trade in your bike, 
like my Trek top fuel and I saw my Ibis Ripley that I wanted, I could put that 3105 towards that Ibis Ripley and purchase the Ibis and they'll ship it out to me and uh, I'll have a, a different bike. Um, they have a dealer trade up, which is pretty cool. I actually like this option. They have authorized dealers that they can give them the store credit. So you, I'd have $2,835 of dealer trade up. So basically they have a couple authorized dealers in there. You can look on the website and my local one is Bike Barn uh, Racing in Whitman. So if I wanted to get a bike at Bike Barn, I'd have $2,835 to spend at that store. Um, and I went for the cash option, $2,700. I know what you're saying, it's kind of low. Um, like I was saying, I could probably get $3,100, $3,200 for my bike. It was brand new, rode it, you know, maybe 200 miles or so and not a scratch on it, pristine condition, but it is hassle-free to deal with the pro's closet. So after you accept the uh, offer you want, cash, dealer trade-up, or store credit, you have to type in a couple things, like your address, um, your ID or your driver's license number, date of birth, you, basically a signature, the serial number of the bike to make sure it's not stolen. Um, obviously, I live in Massachusetts and they're located in Colorado, so they used to actually sent me a shipping label uh, via FedEx and if you're familiar with packing up bikes into bike boxes is not a big deal and if you're not comfortable with it just bring it to your bike shop and they can do it for you but you know I've sold about 50 to 60 bikes so I decided to do it myself um, it took me about 20 to 15 minutes just to make sure it's packed um, correctly because if anything gets damaged in the process in the shipping they're not going to cover it and they might send the bike back to you so I was comfortable shipping it um, packed it up real nice and snug put the label on it and set the FedEx got there in about three, four days. And then within 24 hours, once they received the bike, I got my money of $2,700 in my PayPal account. So my experience with the, the pros closet, has been a positive one. Um, I had a couple questions about the whole process. I just gave them a call. They answered probably on the first ring, super nice guys I've, I spoke with. And uh, this is not sponsored by the pros closet in any way, but it's just, this is my experience. Um, could I have got more money via selling it privately? Yes, but I really didn't feel like dealing with the idiots on the internet and all the lowball offers. And I just, honestly, I didn't have the time. So I decided to try this pro's closet. It's a pretty good experience. Would I do it every time? No. Guys, let me know in the comments below. Would you go this route, sell your bike on the pro's closet, even though the offer is going to be lower than what you can get on the private market? Um, yeah, leave your comments below. Hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.